Well, this week I published my first article in the International Journal of Esports, which is a journal for which I'm also deputy editor. So extra careful to make sure that we went through a rigorous peer review process. It went through two stages and it was quite touch and go at the moment to the point where, and I feel this often when publishing articles in journals, there's a point in the review process where you feel quite despondent, quite worried about whether in fact anything you're saying is of any use whatsoever and any good at all. So I um, managed to get over the hump and make my revisions, go through the process and get some further comments and eventually find a place within the journal that hopefully is making a useful contribution to the discussions around health and well-being. It's an area that I feel very strongly about. I think that esports is a wonderful space in which to operate as a creator, as an innovator, and as someone that's really fascinated by technological change. But there's lots of things we need to figure out, which is why there's so many wonderful people working in this area to make sure we think about the well-being of players, the kinds of behaviors that operate around esports communities, and ultimately trying to make sure that we make sense of how different kinds of social interactions lead to all kinds of pressures and habitual behaviors that may in fact Put people in jeopardy. So the article takes 70 esports companies, which includes publishers, developers, streaming platforms, and a whole range of other industry providers to explore how they publicly share the kinds of activities they do around well-being support for their players or their communities. It paints a picture of what we can see out there in the public domain, which is another area I'm very strongly passionate about. I think that much of what goes wrong in society is because we kind of close the doors around these worlds and, and, and lock them in in communities where we can't transparently see what's going on. So I studied how these organizations publicly share what they're doing with regards to safeguarding and broader well-being practices to understand whether we can begin to discuss publicly what's going on. Quite a few of them are putting a lot of information out there and part of the search process to collect the data involved looking at the wider public discourse around those behaviours, around those policies and indeed the partnerships that exist. Quite a few companies have built partnerships into their programmes that allow their esports communities to actually access resources. It might be things like helplines or indeed channels towards understanding what kinds of concerns operate around esport player wellbeing. Uh, so I think it's a, a picture that's steadily getting more responsible, but one of the conclusions of the article is that there's not nearly enough transparency, not quite enough collaboration between industry partners, so publishers, streamers, event organisers, and indeed the teams and entourages that exist around them, to make sure that we can provide the optimal sort of solution for promoting wellness within esports. So it calls for a more integrated solution, calls for more dialogue within the sector about how we can establish at least minimal standards around care for players and, and wider community members to ensure that we can make esports a safer place to be and hopefully a healthier place to be. I really look forward to seeing comments about it, some great reactions from people already, incredibly helpful reactions as well, telling me about data that's out there as well that we need to look into. And I think one of the other big conclusions of the journal is we need to do more in-depth work to understand what standards exist around those communities that perhaps keep their behaviours and habits private. And um, there's also a great deal of, of work around the partnership programmes where many sports organisations are beginning to work with a range of other sort of healthcare providers, whether it's mental health support or physical activity. These are emerging partnerships that we're beginning to see in the data. And I hope and, and, and feel that this will be really incredibly useful to see more of that as we go forward. So take a look at the journal on the website and uh, please feedback any comments you have about the work.